North Carolina Prepper here. This is part two, and I want to talk about ch charging up the Kearney fallout meter. So let me go ahead and zoom in on that. Well, here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to take and rub this towel on this uh, plastic ruler, plexiglass. You get a plastic charge up, and then I'm going to transfer the charge to the meter. You're going to zoom in. You really can't, you're not going to be able to see anything, but you just have to trust me on it. Basically, you would take and charge it up. If I can get a static charge on this thing. And transfer it to the meter. Okay. You see the plates move there a little bit? Let's see if I can get a better charge on there, but if not, that's just fine. <coughs> well, that's about it. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and remove this. That's my design. And you want to take and take the pin rest and put it up 12 inches as far as it goes out. But 12 inches, and you look down and read the meter. So this meter, I look at the fins, they're basically spread out like this at the bottom. That's what you want to read on the scale here. From the um, Dang it. There we go. From the scale, it doesn't have to be exactly centered to be even or odd. In this case, the left fin is out about six uh, um, centimeters or millimeters. Six millimeters. And the other one is out, uh, let's see. That's seven. So you have six on this side and seven on that side. So that's 13 millimeters. Now you'd mark that on your paper, which I don't have here. You, you mark the, the left and the right side. Six and seven for a total of 13. And then you mark the time. Sorry, I forgot you gotta have a watch too. You mark the time, and then after, after say, um, well, 15 seconds, you see it move. This isn't moving, so the longer you wait, the better. There's a 15 second, one minute, four minute, and then a 16 minute. We're gonna go ahead and use a four minute mark, <clears throat> and let's say it's moved. I don't know. Right now, it's moved at five, and then. Five, so we have ten now. So we take a look on here. How we see that it's moved ten meter or ten millimeters, or is right there. Now we go over to the four column, which is here. So we're, we're taking two rads an hour. So that's how you read the meter. That's how you charge it, and you just put your pin back in there, which I don't have here, of course. But that's how you charge it, and read it, and dose some of it. Um, <clears throat> the important thing is these things have to be dry inside. Um, with my mod, the the chute or the um, God, I can't think of the thing is the one paperclip. You have to stick it in there to strip it in. It has to be three centimeters or less than three centimeters above the foils, and that that's basically how you read a Kearney uh, fallout meter. All right, um, maybe we'll talk more on this later, maybe not. I was thinking about giving these away as a price. Apparently, they're selling them on the net for $75. Can you believe that? Anyway, that's fine. So here you go, $75 value. It cost us, I don't know, 70 cents counting the tomato sauce. So there you go, North Carolina Pepper. Um, I'll give this out my next contest for what it is. All right, have a good one.